Mark 5:34 he said to her daughter your faith has held you go in peace and be freed from your suffering Jesus held the woman then Jesus still heals today if you are facing serious health issues follow the example of of that ill woman and reach our faith a uh, reach out in faith to Jesus imagine yourself touching the hem of his garment and having him turn to you and say go in peace and be freed from your suffering John 14:27 peace i leave with you my peace i give you i do not give you as the world gives do not let your heart be troubled and do not be afraid Jesus words remind us that it is not man created peace but rather the peace of God that calms our troubled heart Jesus reminded them that I, that it was his peace peace from him that would allow them to face life's troubles without fear and, and trepidation his peace is abiding powerful life changing lasting The world so called peace is often just a transient feeling that results from man's faulty methods and philosophies none of which have brought lasting peace to this earth John 16:33 I have told you these things so that in time that in me you may have peace in this world you will have trouble but take heart I have overcome the world Similar to the previous scripture, this verse quotes, quotes Jesus assuring us of three important facts. One, in this world we will have trouble. To believe otherwise is to be naive and even anti-biblical. Two, but in the midst of that predictable trouble we may find peace in Him. Trouble in the world but in the inward peace of Christ in the very midst of of the trouble three and he gives us the assurance that the, that the troubles will not triumph over us since Jesus himself has overcome the world therefore we may take heart and rest in his peace in the very midst of troubles and trials Romans 5:1 therefore since we have been justified through faith we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ Philippians 4:6-7 Do not be anxious about anything but in everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving present your request to God and the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus Two little prepositions in this verse that is with and of give us a wonderful revelation about God's peace Upon repenting of our sins and believing in Jesus, we are justified by faith, are born again by the Spirit, and enter into a relationship of peace with God. Our sins which had once kept us at enmity with God are, forg are forgiven through Jesus Christ, and now we find ourselves at peace with God rather than in opposition to Him. Two. Now as born again children of God at peace with him we can find great peace in prayer we bring our anxieties to him in prayer, prayerful petition with thanksgiving and as a result we find our hearts and minds wonderfully filled with the peace of God he replaces our anxieties with his peace Romans 15:13 may the God of hope fill you with joy and peace as you as you trust in him it's a short verse with a simple but powerful truth that is we can be filled with peace as we trust in the lord and find that when i don't do this anxieties begin to crowd in my thoughts that then as i rest in the lord and trust in him for all things the peace returns